Hi, today we're going to be taking an unboxing review of the Transformers Generations Titans Return The Let's Quest Decepticon Chasm and Quake. So, artwork's not bad, it's just a recovering of Hard Head and Furos. Which, you know, we've seen it before, we've seen it with these mini Grimlocks, I call it Little G. So, there's been a blue and white one, a purple and I don't remember what the other color was. There's this gray and yellow one. We've seen it with, you know, this little tank one. We've seen it with Skull Crusher, which is like the alligator one and stuff. So, you know, there's also been Breakdown, which is the recovery of Chrome Dome. So there's that. So yeah, Offensive Transformers, made in Vietnam. So here's his little story. If I could get it, there we go. The Decepticons unite with Titan Master partners to power up for battle. Chasm opens portals that dispatch enemies and objects. Or displaces enemies and objects. The Decepticon Quake can unleash his seismic attack. And use the power of chasms, chasm, should be chasms, to swallow all bots into the teleportation abyss. Yeah. So, you know, headmasters, well, aka all one, school G1 headmasters, one step. And now they're like Titan masters, but, you know, headmasters. And he's just 10 steps to transform. Quake and stuff. So yeah, you know, headmasters they work with. So there's other headmasters or Titan masters. There's Shuffle, Titan Quas, I mean Deluxe Quas, the Circon Carcor, which is just a recover of Scale Crusher. Like recover. Then there's you know Voyager Quas, then Lear Quas. Stuff so all the things that these little headmasters or you know Titan Masters aka headmasters can do and go on and work with and stuff. So yeah, let's get this open up and tail at the week coloring and see if there's any other special differences or reasons why you want you know put this guy up or not. So your little instructions, we don't really need them, they should be pretty much the same as 
Hothead and Furos. Here's his little stack card of Decepticon Quake. Looks pretty cool. So by itself he's an 8 with Chasm. He's an 11 for strength, for speed. He's only got about uh, 3. And with Quake, not Quake, with Chasm, he's about 8. For intelligence, he's 4 with Chasm. He's about 7. Firepower, 9 with Chasm. 14. And I know some of you will be like, okay, we're going to compare the stats with the other guy. Alright, let me go grab his stat card. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah. Rumble, well, that was the one that I was going to up. Where is it? And the other one's Rewind. Here we go. Hardhead. Here's what the two stack cards look side by side. Here is the two. So, yes, their stats are different, as you can see. Hardhead and Furos has a much higher strength, while Quake and Chasm has a much stronger attack for firepower. So, is there a difference between their strengths and weaknesses? Yes, as you can see, Hardhead and Furos versus Quake and Chasm. So, if you're going off the stack cards, there's that. So, now let's get this guy out of the box. So we have the same as that weapons and stuff, so let's kind of get him armored up. So we got to kind of pull this piece up a bit. Let's get his gut in there. And just kind of get up and over his shoulder. Put the other one in there. Then get his arm kind of bent like that. Uh, this one, there we go. Actually, let me pull that piece out. And pop that one in. There we go. And just a side by side comparison of the two. Here we go. Autobot Hardhead with Furos. Decepticon Quake with Chasm. Because I know someone will be like, well, let's do a side by side comparison. See what's the actual differences in them. Well, color swaps, you know, they got different colors. This one has a little red and gray on his little cross piece. This one is all done in solid, like blue and stuff. This one has darker treads. This one has light gray treads. Red little wheels. Well, orangey red wheels. This one has just queer blue wheels. Uh, this one you can see that there is a little door window there. This one there is not. On the arms and shoulders, this one does have gray, little silver. On the gray piece, there is silver paint in there. 
and this one does not. Solars are different. It has a little lightning bolt with a Decepticon symbol. This one just features all about symbol. The guns are exactly the same for the assault rifles, for the big old cannon. I would show cannon guns. And now, as you know, the headmaster is going to be different. That's, you know, obviously a given right there. Chest panels are different. You know, this one has the silver paint in it, this one doesn't. What's different about here? Well, blue little windshield versus the orange windshield. Some gray painted on there. This one's just solid gray. So there is some pink details that are different and stuff. So, gun could go all the way back. You could flatten it down and stuff. Here, let's pop that out. You could store it. Right back there in that little pet hole. Pretty much all the same things that you could do with hard head here. So, how does the head work? Actually, the head is like really floppy and loose, so, which is the same thing that happened on hard head. So, let's take a look at the little headmaster. Which is really different. Which kind of looks just like this one. We really can't see the detail too much on the head. So what I like to do with these is take the little heads that usually point from their little tiny robot Etzel suit. And turn it around so that the head is facing the big robot head. And then when you reinstall it. It tightens that port up. See how now it's like. Not as loose and floppy. I mean, you still get to move and look somewhat up, somewhat down, and stuff. But if we compare it back to, you know, just turn around to where it used to be, where we had, little tiny where we had over there, and pop it on. I mean, look how it's like a freaking little bobble head. Like, look, it's like. So that's a little tip and trail out there. Always turn the head if you're going to put it in robot mode to look at that robot. Robot face to face, tighter joint. If you have it, little robot face, that way it's going to be way looser on this one. So just a little tip out there. And yeah, why not? Let's compare both of them side by side. Now this one does have a little bit of blue eye color and a little bit of yellow for the face, so a little bit more paint for hard for furrows and stuff. So movement joints is actually the same. So it's all exactly the same. So I like to kind of start by removing the cross piece a little bit. I don't think they told you that in the directions, but that's what I like to do. So for transformation into his vehicle mode. Now it is a little bit tight, you know, the first time that you get these. So, you know, you do have to be aware of that. You do got to fiddle a while with them for a little bit before they become a little bit more easier to transform and stuff.
set up here to line these parts up. Because it's a little bit hard to see on the purple. But there we go. It's all nice and lined up. And his cross piece just went bad there. So yeah. And why not? Let's just swap heads for the head. But so here is hard head. Well, here is chasm and hard head. How they will look. They actually look pretty good together. Chasm and hard head. I know I probably shouldn't have this earlier, but you know, I like to kind of put it in the Gundam Zaku tank mode. I mean, that's kind of how it will look with Furos and Quake. But yeah, you know, the little Titan Masters, they can go ahead and long guy. <laughs> go ahead and sit in this little minigun. Now the instructions say to take this and kind of put it like that. Or to kind of like have it overdone like a little canopy. But you can actually stick another guy on the back here. So let's get him and see if we could put his feet in there. So he kind of sits in there like that on little pads. You could have him put in on either side. It's weird treads, or even up here on the front treads. If I could get on that little hole there, yeah, there we go. This one here is a little bit more floppier, but you know, after a point with them, they will loosen up a bit. And you know, you could just pop him in there. So he could be driving. And why not? Let's do tank side by side. So for this one, it's a little bit easier. I like to put the arms in first. Kind of put them upward like that. And then, you know, from there, close the little feet down. Open that up, grab the cross piece, split that open. Stuff. Straighten all that up, bring that down. Like I said, the exact same transformation. Get those move around. Tab in the wheel feet, the wheel treads, yeah, the back treads. Kind of get that in there, stuff, and open it up, pop him in there, put a little gun in there, and there we go. Side by side comparison. So now you can actually see what I'm talking about. About you know the Lion Boat, the Decepticon, the Autobot, painting up silver, non painting up. So yeah, like I said, Chasm and Quate is just a weak heart of Hardhead and Furos. So yeah. So that has been the unboxing review of Transformers Generations Titans Return Hard Tight Chasm and Quake. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.